Hey, John, I hear you have an exciting story about traffic lights. Well, I don't know if it's exciting, but I thought it was... <laughs> Is it stop and go? Probably a good cautionary tale. It was either last weekend or the weekend before, I can't remember exactly which, in New York City, in five boroughs, they had uh, done a software upgrade on the traffic lights. They had a little bug in their process that caused about 600 traffic lights across five boroughs to fail. Fortunately, when they failed, I think for the most part, they were either flashing red or flashing yellow. It was resolved and it was not necessarily a security vulnerability or a hack per se, but it is one of those kinds of stories that kind of reminds us of how dependent we've all become on IoT type devices, Internet of Things devices. Uh, and we might not even realize that these types of things are controlled over networks via the internet, probably not exposed, hopefully not exposed, yeah. the, the internet at large, like we see and report about a lot um, on this program. I think it's a constant reminder for us that there's all these electronic devices that we kind of take for granted. It's a little bit different than your computer shutting down because it has impact on many, many people. It's that invisible yeah. type of equipment that's out there that we just don't even really think about, but they are internet connected in some way, and that's how they're managed and updated and whatnot. So. Yeah. And also, I guess it makes you think like how important patch management is for those systems. You, you really have to consider a lot more than just some boxes didn't get patched correctly, because right. it actually like impacts people potentially ambulances and first responders right. as well. You know, if somebody did discover some vulnerability, they could snarl traffic at will as part of maybe some larger plan. We talked about these boxes that get placed on home networks that never get patched and how we you know, would prefer that they have some sort of automatic patching process that you know, goes on in the background. What happens when those patches for some reason fail? Because as you said, this, this affected you know, less than 5% of the, of the total number of traffic lights that were getting the updates, it was only some small percentage of them that didn't work. You know, this is that, that counter example to what we often talk about, about IoT devices wishing they were doing some sort of automated patching on a regular basis. The good thing is, is that they were upgrading, right? They were doing a software upgrade. And the thing we complain about all the time is that a lot of people don't patch, upgrade, or otherwise secure their IoT devices because they just kind of take them out of the box, plug them in, and then never think about it again. The Department of Transportation is doing their due diligence, they're patching them. You know, it's interesting to me, I guess not unsurprising, that, you know, Department of Transportation in lots of places, I would say I see them using and adopting IoT a lot in their business. So traffic lights, roadside emergency signs that they put up there, Amber Alert, you know, display boards and whatnot. They're all IoT enabled. A lot of them also are um, connected to via wireless. So over cellular networks is their method of updating and interacting with them. It's interesting to me that there's so much of it out there. Most of it's secure. I don't think most people think about how much is actually out there and how much is potentially exposed and using you know, the internet as their infrastructure for management and control of it. Yes. I almost wonder uh, what exactly were they patching in the traffic light? <laughs> yeah, that's true. What was, yeah, what, what did they need to be fixed? You think it's pretty simple, right? But, you know, maybe, maybe they were just changing the delay time between yellow and red. Who knows? I don't know how any of that works. But anyway, that's all I really had on the story. So it was interesting, something to, you know, think about and go, hmm, I wonder what else is out there that is IoT connected that we never really think about. First of all, as you're applying patches, you always have to think about rollback or what if something goes wrong, how do we re recover from that? And that's part of any patching process, if you're doing traffic lights or something else. It's a good thing to patch. Just make sure maybe test that patch process out in a, you know, a test environment before you roll it out into production. You wanna make sure you don't have default passwords on these things and that they're not exposing any services unnecessarily to the internet that would allow them to become compromised otherwise.